Hi everyone, it's Marcy from Learner's Edge here to show you two of my favorite tools for recording screencast videos using Screencastify and Loom. Both are simple, free web tools that will get you started recording asynchronous videos for your students in just a few clicks. For those of you that are new to this practice, screencasts are just video recordings of your movements on screen along with audio narration and can include video from your webcam or if you're like me sometimes, recording at home in your pajamas, you can leave that off. What's revolutionary about screencasting is that your audience can watch the videos on their own time. This provides needed flexibility for online and blended learning options. So the apps that I'll show you today are both super easy to use, again, easier than you think, and will completely change the way you deliver content and scaffold work for students. One way that folks are using screencasts is to create instructional videos, something that might explain a new concept or kind of walk students through a new skill. Others are using screencasting in tandem with other apps like Google Slides. They can prepare a slide deck, then record themselves talking through the lesson slide by slide. Another way that you can use screencasts is really cool actually. You can grab a video from YouTube or another educational video site, mute the audio, and then record yourself speaking over the video for your students. Um, screencasts are also great for recording audio visual feedback for individuals on an assignment. Sometimes when you can show your suggestions and your critiques, it's better than just typing them out. Screencasts also work really great for providing differentiation to meet diverse, diverse learner needs. You can record um, a support video that might help scaffold content for a small group or an individual. And then once, you're, once you get the hang of screencasting as a teaching tool, you can then show your students how to use it to present information to the class or do projects to kind of um, talk through their thinking, say on a math problem, or for the younger crowd, they can record themselves uh, reading for fluency practice. Okay. So now that you're on the screencast bandwagon like I am, let's look specifically at our first tool. So Loom is a great option for those that want to quickly generate or post links to their screencast videos. And bonus, the Loom Pro account is now free for educators. Yay! So to use Loom, visit the Chrome Web Store, install the extension, as you can see here. And then after following the prompts to enable your mic and camera, you should now find the Loom extension visible on your URL bar and you're ready to record. Just click on that little icon on your URL bar and then select the type of recording you'd like to use. Um, you can record your screen only, you can do your camera only or both screen and camera together and then go. You can see on the right here, I have the controls that you'll see when you're recording. So you'll see your face, you'll see uh, options to stop and start, cancel, hide the menu altogether, and so on. Once your recording is then complete, you'll be directed to your recording page. And here is where you can then rename the video, watch it back, even edit it, and then grab a download link. Um, uh, sorry, you can download it or you can grab a link to share it. And there's obviously uh, ways that you can enable privacy settings if you need. And that's it, really. It's quick, it's easy. And what I love is that you can share that link directly with students. Um, again, this allows you to customize feedback, right? Just record a little video evaluating student work, share the link, make a personalized video for content support, record, share the link. The Loom app is really different because um, it also tracks the number of times your video has been viewed, as you can see here. Um, you could use time stamped emoji reactions, and you can even allow students to comment on your post on this unique recording page. Great. Now let me introduce you to my other favorite, super easy to use screencast recording extension, Screencastify. What sets it apart from other tools is that these videos can be shared automatically to your YouTube channel, or directly to your Google Drive and even to Google Classroom. It also has a pretty nice video editor for those that want more advanced features. So here's how you get started. 
um, install the extension by going to screencastify.com. They have a nice little button there that'll download it for you right away. Again, enable mic and camera, and then you should see the little icon next to your URL bar. And then you know the drill. Click on the icon, choose how you'd like to record, uh, and then use the controls during your recording to um, stop and start. You can enable your webcam here if you choose to. You can even draw and erase uh, over the top of whatever you're showing your students. When you're done, click Stop Sharing and Screencastify automatically opens a page to preview your video. Again, here you can rename it, you can watch it back, you can download it um, again, or you can share it directly to those channels there. It's really nice. So easy, like I said. What I love most about Screencastify is that if you're recording lots of video lessons for students to watch asynchronously, you can quickly add them to YouTube, Google, and even Google Classroom. All right, so screencast videos are fast becoming a huge tool in every 21st century teacher's toolbox. So now that you've got the hang of it, give it a try. I think that you'll find that you love it. Good luck.